I'm doing a little video update of my Golden Severum babies. This is the sponge filter in a 10 gallon aquarium where I've been keeping them. Uh, some of the little babies um, are getting quite large now. They're about a month old and some of them are very small and uh, not developing as quickly as others. This one that I've zoomed in and zoomed in on is uh, quite a bit larger than its siblings. I think my camera is focusing on the wall behind the aquarium and not on the baby so it's uh, going to look pretty foggy <laughs> out of focus. Yeah, we're gonna... So uh, here's a little guy that's Let's see if I can get him. He's right up against the glass. This is one that uh, is not as uh, well developed as some of his siblings. I counted last night and there were about 30 uh, babies that I could see. I'm going to do a little partial water change and get rid of some of the material that's on the bottom of the aquarium. I apologize that my camera can't do any better job than this uh, filming these little guys. But uh, that one in the corner there is just about my uh, most developed uh, Golden Severum. Their parents are up here sort of uh, hanging out. This is the female and this is the male. And I uh, gave them uh, angleworms yesterday, or earthworms. And she must have eaten about eight or nine of them wanting to uh, get ready to lay eggs again. This is quite a beautiful pair of fish, and they live in a community aquarium with Placostomus and, um, and, and Sistrus Placostomus and uh, Petricola Sindontus catfish. Right now, there it doesn't look like there's any Sindontus catfish in here, but there are. There's one right there. <laughs> they're playing hide and go seek with me. They know I'm looking at the aquarium, and they're all hiding. Hope you enjoyed the video.